As the internet continued to evolve, legislation continued to play catch up. So 1998, you have the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which uh, put into place some protections against anti-circumvention and also created sort of a free harbor clause for websites protecting them um, from certain actions that their users could take. 13 years later in 2011, at the end of 2011, there was a, 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 what became a fairly controversial bill introduced in the US, uh, U.S. House of Representatives called the Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA. Uh, SOPA went quite a bit farther than the DMCA in a variety of different ways. Um, and it was, you know, the, the uh, supporters of the bill claimed that this was, you know, needed to uh, prevent the sort of widespread um, theft of you know things that that, that that copyrighted works so for example the recording industry association of america which had you know uh, gotten very famous by prosecuting you know grandmothers that were uh, accidentally sharing music online uh, was really in support of this and you know on behalf of the right of content creators and other things um, but the, the act itself had some very troubling provisions in it. So for example, it could require that if a particular site, if one user on a particular site um, was distributing content that somebody claimed was copyrighted, the search engines could be forced to remove that site from their results. Uh, internet service providers could be forced to, um, to blacklist that site. And in certain cases, they were supposed to actually refuse to, to do name lookup for that site. So you can't even take the name of that site and translate, translate it into an IP address so that you can get there. Um, and there was a lot of outcry on the internet, uh, a well-organized protest that, that um, that took that was organized and sort of uh, involved lots of different popular websites to protest this particular act, um, and and eventually the bill was dropped, uh, and so this was sort of seen as a victory for for people online in support of free speech and anti censorship. And I just want to give you sort of one example of of the type of thing that that went on during that period of time. Um, so here's Wikipedia, and I don't you know again I'm, you may not may not have seen this. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing this. This was uh, I think early 2012, um, and so you know the you know they, the, as they put they consider the the legislation as being. Uh, it, that could fatally damage the free and open internet. And so for 24 hours, they blacked out Wikipedia. They took down the site, put up this message, um, and asked people to contribute to a discussion about the, the provisions of this act. So I am certain that we will see more legislation in this area. Um, the Stop Online Piracy Act won't be the last attempt by content um, creators and people that hold copyrights to try to limit the degree to which the internet is um, allowing for a free expression and including, in certain cases, the distribution of, of content that should be protected by copyright laws. Um, but, you know, SOAP is an example of, I think, not finding the right balance. And it's also a nice example of the internet to coming together as a community to protest and to eventually defeat something that would have really impinged on certain core internet values.